Would you like to win 100 pounds? Watch all the videos we have done since July 2021, like them all and make a comment below with your opinion about the video. Next month we will be revealing at the end of the month if you have won or not. So far we have 17 comments so it's very easy for you to win it. Easy. And now let's play the video. Hello guys and welcome to a new video of New in Britain. How are you doing today? Are you doing good? Are you also okay? You too? Woohoo! So much positivity here. Fantastic. In this video, we're going to talk about inflation. What is it? Why is it happening? And what can we learn about it so it doesn't affect our dream to be financially happy? In addition, I also wanted to let you know that this channel has made £34.59 so far. Inflation, inflation, inflation. The sounds of these words makes people crumble, really. Look at it. Inflation. Many people know inflation as the thing that makes them lose money over time. This is true on some ways, but it isn't in others. Let me explain. Inflation is a measure to calculate the price increase or decrease of all goods and services that the economy has. This goes for the price of a Lamborghini to the price of gold or the price of an apple. Before the 1930, in Europe and America, generally, people did not care so much about inflation. Prices were going up and down, but it was not a problem. But since the late 20s until the 60s, people started to really care for it, as prices increased 10,000% in people's lives. It was once said by German economist Karl Otto Pohl, that inflation is like a toothpaste. Once it's out, it's difficult to put back in. And he was right. Governments, central banks, or even the Bank of England can use different techniques or policies to control inflation. They can make the inflation go up and down to help the economy keep moving and therefore collect more taxes. But if this is not done correctly, it can have some negative effects, such as job losses, people complaining, recessions, among others. Believe it or not, Having a healthy price increase or inflation is beneficial for the economy, not so much for people. A British economist called John Maynard Keynes believed that some inflation was necessary to prevent the paradox of thrift. For those of you that don't know this term, is when people are saving all the money they have, the money doesn't circulate and the economy is not producing. This paradox could be good for people, but won't be good for the economy. Let us know if you want us to explain this in a future video. Another way that inflation can happen is due to the demand of many items due to the scarcity or due to the necessity of people. An example of this can be what has happened a few months ago with toilet paper or PPE. As the demand of toilet paper and PPE increased so much during the pandemic and companies couldn't keep up with the demand, the prices increased so rapidly. Another example of shortage pull demand is the housing market. As there are not enough places to build new houses in London or Oxford, the price of the ones we have at the moment they are so high or they are going higher and higher. Finally, inflation will happen due to money surplus. As more people have more money to invest in things, people will pay premium prices to keep what they want. Knowing this, let's analyze the present right now. Many people did struggle during the pandemic and government printed so much money for people that they didn't have a job. Some suppliers are putting the price of their products up, especially the housing market, the motor fuel industry and the used vehicles. First is that inflation over time can make your money grow if it's invested correctly or can make your money be reduced if it's kept in your bank account. Secondly, you can't do anything to predict the market as a small private investor because we don't know if the market is manipulated. Thirdly, you should smash the like button if you didn't know any of this. It doesn't cost you anything and it will help increase the views of this channel more than inflation itself. After all of this stuff, let's be a bit more positive and see what options we have for a small or medium sized investor. Disclaimer. People might worry that prices are going to increase rapidly 
but the Office for Statistics analyzed that the inflation in the UK is currently at 2.4%, and the Organization for Economics, Cooperation and Development analyzed the inflation levels in the United States are 5.4% right now. This is not a big deal just yet. If you are without capital, a small investor, or an influencer like me that is willing to make money and give it all away to people, we should not worry about inflation, as we don't have too much to lose. Personally, I'm not going to worry about inflation. I will focus into creating better content, investing all the money I have to increase this channel and do better in life. This is the same thing that the king of YouTube, Mr. Beast, said in a Logan Paul interview. And as you can see, I am leading my example. I just quit my work to produce videos full time. Yes, I am crazy. But whatever happens, I will be happy that I tried. Remember, if you do something because you think it's best, there are no consequences. As long as you double check this with your family, your friends and people who have done the same things. Now, this is the advice that I will be giving to my partner or my family that have a bit more capital than myself. Mom, fiancé, brother. First, open a business. Warren Buffett said that Business protects themselves better from inflation. If inflation kicks in, a business can increase its prices too. Also, with the income received, invest in things that help you make more money. Second, if you struggle with money, change your currency for things that you can sell easy after, such as houses, cars, gold, silver, or any other thing that you can add value to it. The prices in countries with hyperinflation, such as Argentina, or Venezuela increase in price from one day to the next by 100%, but people still survive. Third, change your currency for another currency that is more stable. Yes, it's annoying, but it's possible. Did I forget to say something? Have you lived in a country with high levels of inflation? Is there is anything that you want to tell us and write it down in the comments? If you do this, remember, you can win 100 pounds. Thank you very much. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And now, guys, I am leaving.